What's going on, everybody? So the 40,000 subscriber special is finally here. You guys better sit back and grab your popcorn because we are about to make an hour-long montage of this um, and see how high I can push up. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for 40K. Um, it's truly like a crazy number. I mean, I can't even... It just this month and like alone has kind of been mind-blowing to me. Okay, we're playing Golem apparently first game here, but I'm just going to expo the lane since he doesn't have Bomber in cycle. But yeah, just, I don't even have words to like say thank you enough um to you guys because it's genuinely like been such a great month for me and even just recording videos in the last like month and a half have just been like truly different than they ever have before um like with the support and everything so i just you know i just want to say thank you to everyone um he's gonna go for the healer i can just rocket and log all this and take that out really quickly um and i think that's actually kind of a good trade we might be okay here as long as i can keep my tower alive but yeah um just you know hopefully i can get at least my goal for this video you know i would like to get number one with firebow but it is really hard because there's a lot of goblin drill and goblin drill is a really hard counter to this but i will be at least you know i'm not gonna stop until i at least get top 10 um <laughs> So I guess that'll be like kind of my um, goal for this video, I guess. But yeah, just, just so much support. I appreciate you guys so much. Anyways, we're up, up against Ian. It's time to lock in. And you guys, you know, most of you probably already knew I was going to play Fireball for this special. Um, I, you know, every 10,000 subscribers, I do do a special. So um, I guess I technically did one for 25,000 as well. That was kind of a crazy one. Twenty, I won like 25 games in a row. If you haven't seen that, I would I would watch that video. It was kind of insane. Um, but I'm just going to let this expo kind of die out. And he's probably going to pop the ability. Yeah, I'm just going to have to cycle on... Wow, my rotation is actually really bad. Um, I can't go wizard because I'll lose the game. So I'm just going to have to nato this little prince back. And hopefully it doesn't take my entire tower. Okay, no, he is going to go healer. I will have to go for my knight. Um, so it's not that bad. You know, we're going to survive this. <laughs> if he actually didn't go healer, that would have been better for him because I couldn't have played my knight. Um, or I would have been down too much elixir. But yeah, as long as I can save my tower, which is a big task against the golem deck. Um, in double elixir especially then I think we should be all right. So like, matching Ian in the first game is kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. Definitely have to sweat already, but I'm just going to go for the Evo Skellies, try and force out something from him at the bridge. I'm going to rocket NATO all this in to keep my wizard alive. Um, and then he's going to go Little Prince. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'm just going to go wizard and then Skellies to kite. Um, Ice Spirit to freeze. Holy cow. That is a lot of spam. Um, log though. Wizard. Oh my gosh. Wizard's so good. Wizard's the best card in the game, guys. NATO. Oh, <laughs> Wait, I'm alive? Am I alive? I think I'm alive. I'm gonna go knight. He might nato this. No! No, evil bomber, please don't do that to me. Um, okay, are we good? We are fine. Holy cow. Tornado does not do enough, so we are gonna win this game. But yeah, what a start. Um, you guys saw Wizard just got about 55,000 elixir worth of value already in the first game. That's just a sign of good things to come in this video because, like, wow. Um... How much was that? He had Barb's Healer, Little Prince, and the Guardian on the board. That's like, what? I can't do math, guys. But yeah, anyways, solid first game to the video. Definitely opening up against a good opponent. Also, I wanted to talk about, um, I saw it today on Twitter. I saw, like, a bunch of people are, not, not like that many people, but some people are getting banned and stuff um, for that lucky drop glitch I, I know aragon got his main account banned like which is just mind-blowing to me because of this glitch um and originally they had it at a 31 day ban which i thought was pretty fair um because you know you're abusing a bug right and and just like profiting off of it but then a few people got changed to a literal permanent ban and that's crazy to me um because people have had these accounts for like seven or eight years however long and they're just getting permanently banned because of a glitch that i mean technically i mean it's it's kind of supercell's fault that the they didn't like patch it or anything earlier right but um i don't know i just thought that was kind of crazy i'm gonna nato plus log this it's gonna be a nice connection I, okay i wasn't even paying attention guys i'm gonna be honest but that was kind of a clean start to the game um i just think that that the supercell is making a big mistake um i know riley also got banned i'm not sure if he got the permanent ban or the 31 day ban but yeah i just thought um i just think it's crazy and they're <laughs> I, I mean i hope they change things um at least or something because right now I, I don't think it's acceptable that they're just banning everyone like that um i mean it's fine to give them a long-term ban but you can't just ban their entire account like that's just crazy to me uh, i can't even i only have one account that's you know leveled up and everything um because i don't really have <laughs> the i mean i'm not gonna spend money on another account to level it up when you know I, I don't really need it i guess um but i understand like the having multiple accounts on top ladder it's a lot easier to push up and stuff but just just imagining my like main account getting bans i'm so glad i would never um use a bug or anything because i knew they were going to ban for that i had a feeling they would even though like they didn't say anything prior to this is, is which is kind of the problem um but you know i'm not gonna this is a, this is a happy video for me i'm not gonna get into any negatives or anything i'm just gonna rocket this on zero i know it's kind of aggressive not aggressive but like i'm putting myself on zero but like I kind of have to in this situation. I guess I could have got to Evo Knights. If that hits my tower, I'm leaving. Bro, that hits my tower? 
Oh my gosh, Bomber needs a nerf immediately, guys. Um, okay, <laughs> he's gonna rocket my tower. Nice, well played, well played. Um, I'm just gonna go for the expo out of the lane. I have my Evo Skellies and Knights. So, okay, well, this might actually be good because he doesn't have Evolution Bomber in rotation. Um, what does he have for this? I'm gonna log. It's gonna kill the Skellies. I'm gonna Ice Spirit as well. Dead Bomber as well. Hold up, this is kind of good, guys. Um, I guess I could NATO this really quick. How is my Expo so dead? What the heck? Uh, I guess I'll just Expo again on the right side and try and keep the pressure on now that we know he has the Rockets. Um... Okay, Evo, or not Evo Knight, Normal Knight to block that bomber. I knew he was going to do that at the bridge. It's so predictable. Uh, he does have the Evo Tesla, so I'll just NATO to make sure everything dies. And you know what? That's not the worst thing ever. We can kind of just reset here. Um, and now he doesn't have Evolution Tesla or Bomber in cycle, so that's kind of a win for me. If he does Rocket, I have my Expo, though. Um, I'm going to go Expo right now and see if we can predict him. Okay, he's going to go Defensive, though, um, which is actually fine for me. I can just go Knight in the middle. He's going to Knight as well, I'm guessing. Um... Yeah, okay, let's see. This is kind of awkward. <laughs> I haven't really played this deck. He does have the bomber in the rocket, so I definitely will say this is his matchup for sure. But, you know, we're still in the lead technically right now. He's gonna... No. Okay, I thought that bomber was gonna hit my tower. I was gonna get mad. Um... I mean, somebody, <laughs> if somebody has like, has like the patience, um, they're, you know, you can go through this video and probably count at however many times I get mad at the evil bomber. Cause I'm guessing I'm going to face this card quite a lot <laughs> and it's going to be, um, quite, quite a lot of rages from me <laughs> about the card, but I'm just going to go ice spirit on top of this nice defense there. Evil Knight's so good against the expo. We're up like a significant margin. I'm actually going to wizard. Okay. You're kind of tripping with that one because you're not even up elixir. I'm going to go expo with this wizard. His tower is out of daggers as well. So He's going to have to, like, spend a night on zero here. Hold up. He's actually in so much trouble. Um, he's going to bomber, but I can just log and then, I guess... No, he's going to Tesla. I shouldn't even NATO. I should just rocket his tower, right? Um, wh wh where's my expo? No, I hate this card, guys. I hate this card. What? <laughs> that literally just killed my entire expo. Also, um, okay, I'm going to lock in and win this game first before i talk about that i'll talk about that in the next game um if i remember my my brain sometimes does not remember things i do apologize so i'm just gonna have to rocket cycle him at this point um he's gonna go offensive bow but it doesn't really matter like i'm fine i can just wizard he's gonna go evil bomber oh sorry i got stressed out there <laughs> very stressed out i'm just gonna get the evil knight down and he's gonna go expo again probably actually i win the game i don't even have to do anything um i can just go ahead and rock it and then nato his tower and that's gonna be ggs i think um right is that enough okay i, I kind of panicked for a second there but i'm you know i'm glad that we got that win that deck is very very annoying with the evil bomber for sure Okay, so what I was going to talk about, um, I did my first ever stream last night, like late at night. Um, probably a lot of you missed it because you were asleep if you are like American and stuff because it was really late for me. But um, I did the first stream and it was honestly pretty fun. I, everything was was pretty good. Um, I was just kind of wondering your guys' opinion. Like, would you rather me stream on my main channel or would you rather like if I am going to do streams, should I make a separate channel and do like only live streams on that channel? If that makes sense, like kind of some, some people have been doing that. I think Ian has been doing that as in uh, Riley as well, but I just wondered what your guys' opinion was. Like, would you prefer it on the main channel or the, um, like me to make a whole new channel? Okay. This is kind of annoying because I don't have any, like I can't drop the wizard on those lava pups. Um, okay. He's going to go guards. Not sure about those guards though. I can just go for the log and that should be, is that going to, I'm not sure if that guard would have got a hit, so I kind of <laughs> was forced to go Larry's. Doesn't really change anything, but yeah. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. He's going to go for the Lava Hound in the back. We got to go Expo same lane for sure. He's going to Bomber, so I'm going to predict him. Yep, I'm just like, no, it's frozen. How does it hit my tower? Okay, I think they need to nerf the hit speed of the Bomber. It shoots way too fast. You like, It's kind of like a princess where you can't even react to it sometimes. Um, you pretty much have to predict it, which is like my biggest pet peeve. I would say those are my number one and number two least favorite cards um, in the game right now is the princess and the Bomber, only because you can playing both at the river like i'd rather face a magic archer than any, either of those because you can at least like do something um about them but i'm just gonna go wizard we're probably gonna lose our tower here maybe um i'm gonna go evo skellies and then nato everything back he zapped oh wow really bad what is he doing he, he knows that's not gonna kill the wizard um so basically effectively he just wasted five elixir right on <laughs> nothing because he zapped and arrowed that wizard um and it didn't die so i mean it just got still got all the value that it was going to get if he didn't do that so i guess he probably could have done something better with that elixir you know just an outside perspective <laughs> but i'm just going to go expo because i'm not going to be able to defend my tower um that is pretty much a guarantee let's see he's probably going to go for the yeah the i drag i can skelly some time though wait i'm actually you know what i'm going to force force this connection here um because i think he is going to take my tower i'm not really confident on defending um, i'm going to pull this back keep my wizard alive oh what a nato guys that was actually dirty but somehow my expo is still dead even though nothing touched it i love when that happens um i guess i'll just knight 
and try and cycle back to another wizard here um i guess oh whoa 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 okay wait wait i'm kind of <laughs> i'm kind of cooked guys wait he has the evo no he used the evo zap so my wizard as long as i protect this card i should be no please do not do that to me okay we are gonna nato this back knight on top of the miner um i have another wizard so we're fine i think we're fine wizard go down in the middle right now he's gonna get a third lava hound here in a second um okay wizard's cleaning up okay here's the lava hounds he basically had three lavas on the bridge uh, at the, on the board at the same time so this is gonna be kind of awkward but i just gotta go ice spirit and then i think wait really bad baby dragon because now i can just skelly's kite pre-nato everything in log the, the miner and then i think i'm all right if i can keep my wizard alive oh the wizard protection is beautiful guys that is absolutely clinical for me <laughs> i think that's gonna be ggs as well because we've got the double wizard and the evil knight pretty much a like that's an unstoppable force right there if you ask me um he's gonna have to go arrows on top of all that but this is still gonna be a really good damage for me i think uh, might even be game i could nato this let's just nato it to make him uh you know force force out his zap yeah so now we're gonna be down to like a couple logs and then a rocket to finish off the game but yeah protecting the wizard is so overpowered oh wait we won the game i don't even need to go for a um two rockets or anything because that x will get a lock on tower and that's going to be an easy dub right there um, i can't believe we defended three lava hounds that just shows you how good wizard is i mean i'm telling you guys this card is very underrated on defense all right morton i don't think he knows what's coming for him because i've got this five elixir absolute beauty of a card <laughs> but um yeah we'll have to see what he's running he's usually playing a cycle deck so i'm just gonna go for the knight in the back and let's see let's see let's see i think that's um oh no wait what is this bats that's fisherman it could be like oh there's a lot of giant players right now um i'm guessing that's probably what it is am i right i think i'm right maybe i don't really know he's got the royal ghost okay interesting i don't even have any idea what he's playing actually so i'm just gonna log all that back um royal ghost is kind of a oh he's got rg i did not think of that at all i, <laughs> I just don't expect morton to be playing royal giant i guess um so kind of a decent defense wizard is gonna put in enough dps um but dang okay hold up what do i do here i think the play is to bait out something on the left and then i'm gonna expo on zero on this right side um because he's gonna have to play on top of that wizard nice he has to waste a rage which is not bad and then oh, he's got giant skeleton what oh i did not expect that at all oh he wait i'm down elixir am i like crazy i guess wizard is five elixir so i didn't really you know i thought i was playing ice boost for a second um all right wow i actually put myself in such a bad situation now <laughs> okay um i'm gonna log and then hopefully my tower can like no i have to go knight this sucks okay it's fine he's gonna pop the ability though uh which is kind of a waste i can just nato all these bats in and you know what honestly we're not dead so i think i'm all right i'm kind of nervous of him going rg other lane and then raging my evo skellies though because i might lose the game um as long as like ho hopefully he doesn't know that i don't have a secondary building yet because if he does have that information it's gonna be kind of hard for me to win this game but royal giant plus giant skeleton is definitely not the uh, the deck that we'd be we'd uh, want to face when i am running firebow here but it's fine i'm just gonna go ahead and cycle the ice spirit in the back and i guess i have to skellies this like look my rotation is really bad right now um the one thing about wizard which is kind of an issue <laughs> that i've been running into on top ladder when i do try and play it is that your cycle just gets really awkward like you, it's it's pretty much um a card you have to save for certain situations um but you also like get in this rotation where you don't have anything else to play if that makes sense so he's gonna giant skeleton in the back um I guess I'll just cycle and then go defensive bow once this fisherman locks on my tower. Um, you know what? This is not bad because I think it's going to take out the giant skeleton. He doesn't have a big spell. So, okay, RG in the back. All right, what do I do here? He's going to go Evo Bats. I'm definitely going to have to NATO that. That was a really bad little prince though from him. Um, okay, he's going to go for the ability. I can just log and then I don't even have to NATO these bats. I think I can just Ice Spirit to get away with them because the wizard's going to clean up the bats on the right lane. Um, if he does go for the fisherman, I have another wizard. So I'm not worried about that. Yep, there's the, there's the fisherman. I can get the second wizard down now <laughs> i'm playing wizard cycle at this point okay chill 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 um wait nato went all into the wizard i think oh this would dude this card's the best guys look how much damage it's doing i'm gonna go knight on top of the little prince as well no hits from the rg wow i'm gonna go evo skellies look at this dual lane pressure now that we've built up i'm gonna nato these bats as well please don't have anything he's got rage though doesn't he dang it okay we almost got him um with the evo skellies cheese but unfortunately we did not they're just gonna have to go wizard on defense once again it's so good on defense but it's like really hard to get damaged um with this card on offense i guess so i am gonna have to go knight in front of this since he doesn't have giant skeleton in cycle um and then i'm gonna go skelly he's gonna ghost on top right he's gonna ghost there it is i can log to keep my wizard alive nice wizard is so good <laughs> i'm the best wizard protector in this game i promise you guys i'm gonna go for the defensive bow there's the giant skelly in the back imagine i would have predicted that on the left side with an expo that would have been dirty but no nah, he does have the 
Does he have a reset? I actually cannot remember. My brain's just failing on me right now, but um, I'm going to go for these skellies. And I've heard that, you know, if you do play wizard in your deck, you do get 10% smarter. So I don't know, you know, maybe it's just a theory. I knew he was going to go for the RG right there. So really good prediction wizard. Um, it's so risky to play things like that, but I kind of have to if you're going to have any chance of winning. Also, that was the worst overcommit I've seen in my entire, like, 19 years of existence on this planet. So I think we're going to win the game. Yeah, that was that was just a really bad RG and, like, push from him. Um, we're actually going to beat Morton. <laughs> Morton with wizard. Like, what is happening, guys? We're beating really good players um, easily, too. Like, I'm not even really struggling. Um which I usually am with Firebow, but that's going to be GG's. We are in rocket range, so I can just go ahead and log Ice Spirit to Freeze, keep my wizard alive right here, and make sure I'm defending, and that's going to be GG's. A perfect clinical game of, of Firebow right there. Uh, I mean, wizard is absolutely dominant, and what are, what's like, you know, what better card is there to play for a 40k special? There's, there just isn't one. All right, we're up against Wotop, you know, I just wanted to say that, uh, you know, and if anyone wants to comment deep thoughts about their life, then they can go ahead and do that in the comments down below, and I'll read all of them, because I read all the comments and stuff, but, um, you know, I just had that random thought, because some people, you know, sometimes you just never talk to anybody about something, um... And it doesn't even have to be anything bad, you know. Sometimes you just want to talk, right? And, like, have a conversation with someone. Um, and, you know, I, I like replying and stuff. So I'm just going to go for the wizard here. Looks like we are playing... Oh, this guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm playing Royal Recruit. So I wasn't even, like, paying attention to his name. Um, oh, yeah. This is easy. Wait, he just lost the game. Look at this wizard value, guys. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but, yeah. Comment down below if you do want to um, talk about anything. So now he doesn't have recruits. What does he even do for this? I'm going to go for the... Um, wait, is he dead? I think he's dead, guys. Wait, what are those pigs? Hold up. He just lost the game. That was on zero as well. I can just go for the expo the wizard is on tower um is he dead i think he has nothing for this wait expo on tower that's the worst night which i've ever seen because ice spirit's just gonna freeze and he's gonna get no damage out of that i can just evo skellies and that's gonna be ggs i don't think he can do anything there um he's gonna arrow my king tower oh my gosh it's crazy how much of a difference one card makes in this matchup like if i had ice wiz this would be absolutely miserable but the fire fire wizard is just the best card in the game as you guys see it changes every matchup to 100 in your favor um i've never lost a game with this card in my deck it's just that simple uh, but <laughs> um Three crowning recruits in the first minute and a half is kind of crazy. That might be the first time I've ever done that in my life. Um, he usually never gives up. Like he's always, it's always a really close game, and then I lose at the very end because he just has a has a matchup advantage on me, um, unfortunately. But this time we got the wizard man, and you know what? The wizard just absolutely backpacked me in this matchup. That took out the flying machine and all the recruits. Like how? That's twelve elixir value, um, and all I had to, all I had to do was tornado everything together, and then he also wasted pigs. That was seventeen elixir worth of value for one wizard. Let's go. Oh my goodness, we're going up against Light Bulb, guys, which I'm pretty sure is Sweep, um, as you can see by his clan name, Sweep Coaching. So, I'm not sure what he's playing. Oh, I think I know what he's playing, actually. He's playing he's playing um, Goblin Giant Bowler Lightning, I think. I could be wrong, but I saw that on his profile like a couple days ago. Maybe he switched decks, but um, that's just going to be my my guess for now. He's going to... Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I'm going to go Expo on the other lane. That is way too aggressive, my good sir. And then whatever he does is fine. He's going to Boulder. Okay, not bad. We're going to get a massive Expo lock, um, and that's why you can't Lightning against single in like uh, lightning and single against expo um if you are playing a beatdown deck because they just expo the lane immediately and you don't have enough elixir to uh, do anything so um i'm gonna go for the ice spirit then go ahead and activate my king tower i think right bruh oh my <laughs> are you trolling me right now that was literally a, like okay so the one time the bowler rock doesn't want to go in range of my like of whatever uh, like it, it always hits my tower but the one time i pull it towards my king tower it doesn't want to roll far enough like man i'm done um i've actually never i don't know i don't play ice spirit so it was kind of an awkward interaction but dang that sucks he might lightning this we'll have to see if he does i think i'm all right he's gonna go little prince which is fine and then he's probably gonna lightning yeah okay so i'll just have to cycle back to another knight to defend all this um ice spirit's gonna help me out by freezing he does get some decent damage back but we're still in a pretty comfortable lead in a single here luckily my tower is targeting that lp as well so i don't have to waste my nato on that um and you know what could have been a could have been a lot of a worse start but this is not going to be an easy matchup i'm actually going to go expo on zero to force out a bowler from him um okay whoa he's late on the bowler i thought he had just enough to place it maybe he was just like a little bit late um i have this nato ready for his evo bomber if he does drop it but he's just gonna go zap instead um so we get a massive connection there which is really really good and i think i can just log this bowler actually do i even need to i don't know i'm just gonna cycle log anyways and then i guess i'll nato these minions kind of aggressive but have to make some sort of play there to uh, take them out and then i have my evo skellies on defense this time around if it uh like you know if he does go in so i can just cycle the knight in the back try and start defending his push 
here. Um, he's gonna go LP other lane. Very interesting decision. I'm just gonna go. Oh my gosh, he's got Giant Skelly. I was right. I was right, guys. Um, Evo Bomber on the right. Yep, there it is. No, please. Holy cow. Um, sorry. I think I've faced Evo Bomber in every single game so far. I could be wrong about that, but um, it's what it feels like at least. And those Evo Skellies are going to absolutely churn up his entire push right there. Wow, that was disgusting. They're still going. Um, they took out the majority of that little prince as well. I can just go for the Ice Spirit, then log. Um, and then cycle back to a tornado to kill this little prince and you know I probably should have logged the little prince I don't know why I didn't I just thought that maybe I could defend with just a nato But I guess I got greedy the wizard in the middle is gonna be pretty annoying There's the bomber. Yep I knew he's gonna place it nice little ice spear prediction to keep my wizard alive right there um, He's gonna go for the bowler. That's good. And then he's gonna giant skelly in front of this wait not giant skelly giants goblin goblin giant Wow, Ink. <laughs> I can't name any card correctly. I've only been playing this game for seven years You know, I can't I can't remember all the names of the cards guys. Um, so that's gonna be a dead goblin giant he does get a little bit of damage but i think i have to play defensive because i can't really go offensive into a giant larry um so i'll just get this down i have the wizard if he does a giant skeleton in front which he will and okay um i'm gonna log he might go in opposite lane so i'm just gonna ice spirit then have my wizard ready if he does he's not gonna go opposite lane which kind of surprises me i'm gonna go evo skellies oh my gosh evo skellies getting me so much value in this matchup right now um okay he's gonna goblin giant the back now it's our time to go for offensive expo since i already have this wizard coming down this lane i'm gonna nato everything at a range because he doesn't have enough elixir and that's gonna be ggs even if he lightnings i can just go ahead and rockets to finish off the game nice really good win right here um definitely a really good start which kind of led me to win this game because i usually probably would never beat this matchup when they have so many tanks and stuff in the lightning spell but we'll take that win for sure i don't know what it is but there's just something satisfying about beating people with wizard like it just makes you feel good man <laughs> i don't really know why maybe because it's such an under you know the card just never is ever used in so long oh wait why would he go for wait what okay so let me get this straight right um i'm gonna activate king off this i think maybe no i suck at the game but let me get this straight he just played a bomber in the back and then he went for the drill on the other lane why would you not go in the same lane to support your bomber i don't know i guess i'm just salty because i put the wizard on the other side but like in my head that doesn't make any sense uh, anyways we should be fine here i'm just gonna go for the knights in the back he does have the evo bomber though oh my gosh he's got boulder as well dang boulder royale right now okay i'm gonna go for the ice spirit to try and predict this bomber and then wizard in the middle i'm not really sure what's happening i'm just gonna go wizard he might nato he's got the fireball hold up i'm gonna go for the offensive bow on the right side because he just kind of spins um a decent bit of elixir whoa hold up hold up hold up hold up can i do something here i think maybe um if i just log and then go for this go for the skellies on top of these goblins i think no he's got he's got back to knights um and then he's just gonna bomb it on zero most likely here yeah so tough we're not gonna get any damage and he's gonna get like <laughs> like what is that 700 damage um just from a bomber at least we can get the king tower activated so that's kind of a plus for me um because it's really hard to activate king tower with bombers and firecrackers and stuff now that the dagger duchess just like wipes him instantly <laughs> um I still think Dagger Duchess is going to need some kind of nerf in, like, where the other towers are just never going to get used, but I'm just going to go for the wizard in the back. Imagine they, like, buff Princess Tower or something. You can't even do that because it's literally the default tower. Um, I just think it would be... I don't know what's going to happen with the, all the tower situation, to be honest, but I'm going to go for the X with the bridge and see... Whoa, I'm actually going to go zero Elixir Nato here. I know it's aggressive, but he doesn't have Evo Knight in rotation. Um, I need to get a connection here going into double, or I'm going to be just kind of stuck defending the entire game, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to go for the log on top of this. We're going to take a little bit of Goblin damage but definitely worth waiting there and being patient uh, my tower is out of daggers though which kind of sucks so i'm gonna go ice spirit yeah i have to knight behind as well dang it maybe i didn't no i definitely did yeah because it didn't kill it in one more shots um and then he's gonna go evo knight all right interesting gonna get the wizard down and then probably tornado everything back just to pull it out of range wizard walk forward no wait he missed my tower okay really bad um nato by him here i mean he kind of had to but wow he's just overcommitting everything at the bridge right now i don't even know what i'm watching um evo bomber is just going to be a complete waste i thought that was about to hit my tower you guys were about to see this game deleted from my phone so quickly <laughs> but now we're vibing we're vibing yeah like i said though i'll probably be doing some live streams um very i don't know i have to get a new monitor i think to make the fp the not the fps the like quality better um, but i'm actually not too sure i'm gonna do another kind of test stream to just check if my quality is correct and if it's not then i'm gonna have to get a new monitor which kind of would suck but you know i think it'd be worth it to um you know stream because i think it's a lot of fun and i've been wanting to stream for like five years <laughs> i'm not even kidding i wanted to stream before i ever even made videos but um, that's gonna be a dead bowler and everything. Just gonna pull everything in. Oh my gosh, wizard! Don't do it to him like that. That's disgusting. I mean, I'd fireball the king tower after. Okay, he missed the wizard. Just, just take, just take the entire tower, wizard. I'm just not gonna play another card. I'm just gonna cycle wizards on the map and just let it do its thing. That's ridiculous. Let's go. 
you're not going to believe what deck I'm going to face here. You guys will never believe what this guy's created. It's an absolute masterpiece. Um, Goblin Drill Poison. Like, bruh, this entire meta is Goblin Drill Poison. It's like the hardest counter for, <laughs> for Fire Bow. Um, it kind of sucks. I mean, the entire meta is like a lot of there's a lot of lava not even like that much lava hounds i feel like it's more golem and giant now than lava hound which is kind of sucky for me but you know it is what it is i mean giants usually it depends on what they're what they have if they have fireball and evil zap and evil bomber like it's just a nightmare to go up against because you're like stressing the whole game but i'm gonna go for the expo at the bridge um okay wizard is not doing any damage all right and that's dead i'm so tired of evil bomber guys uh um i kind of misplaced my expo anyway so it was kind of my bad right there but um that's gonna be a dead bomber i can just log this first goblin then go for the ice spirit and you know what please no i'm so bad i should have put the ice spirit down quicker but my reaction speed's so slow now we're gonna take 900 damage oh no that's actually the worst start ever and where we have like the worst matchup ever too um but you know i can still come back it's not the end of the world here i'm gonna be probably recording this video i don't know probably over the course of a couple of days so nah probably not i don't know i'm gonna have it try and have it done by tonight but it just depends on if my internet's gonna sell or not hopefully my internet doesn't sell and you guys are seeing this at 11 p.m est um like it should be but you never really know with my connection at this point um but i'm just gonna go expo on Actually, no, nah, I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill. Sometimes I just get ahead of myself. I'm actually going to do this. I literally, right as I say that, I'm going to spam the entire bridge. Wait, wait, he's dead, right? Maybe? I don't really know. Uh, <laughs> I'm so contradicting of my own, like, words. Okay, he's going to go for the night evolution. Um, no, dude. He just defends every expo with the bomber evolution. and just, like, hits it from a mile away. That's so cringy. Okay, whatever. Um, at least it's, you know... At least the um, Evolution Bomber's out of rotation, I guess. Uh, that's kind of good, but I'm still kind of mad about it. Just going to go Wizard in the opposite lane here. He's going to go for the Drill and then the Log. Um, and yeah, we're going to take a bajillion damage. I'm going to Expo and then Log this Drill. And you know what? Oh, he's just going to Tesla. No, he doesn't Tesla, but he's going to Bomber. Yeah, I can't really do anything um, in this matchup. As you guys can see, he just goes Knight and then just Poisons or Bombers. You know, if he doesn't have Evil, evil Bomber, he just Poisons. If he does have Evil Bomber, he just Evil Bombers and wipes out my entire Expo. So it's kind of just like the most depressing thing ever. But I'm not going to give up. You know, it's not, not over yet. I'm just going to get the Knight down. Um... I'll go Skellies to tank for my wizard, make sure that stays alive, and then go for the Expo on defense here. Try and switch up what I'm doing. I haven't really played any defensive Expos with this deck at all, but, I mean, it might work. I'm really unsure <laughs> at what else to try at this point, so Wizard is not even going to get a shot on tower. He's just not having it. I'm going to go for the wizard in the back once again. Just try and keep playing slow. Eventually, maybe he'll make a mistake, and I can pull this off, but it's going to take a pretty big miracle. I'm going to go for the knight in the back, and then he's going to bomber, so I'll just get the Skellies down early. Ice Spirit as well. Okay, there's the... Whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's really aggressive. Um, Wizard's gonna turn around and kill all that. Then I can go for the offensive bow, get the Evo Knight down. And then I have my Tornado ready. Wait, please? Wizard! Wizard! Yes, okay, wait, we're gonna get, get a connection. It's not over yet. He doesn't have Knight, though, for this really bad Tornado. I can just pre-log his Skellies or something. We're gonna hit the Bomber. Um, that's so much damage, guys. He just sold... I don't even have... How do you sell this matchup, bro? That's actually, like... <laughs> I, I don't even know how, but... I mean, Wizard killing those skellies kind of got me that lock-on and won me the game, so we're going to say Wizard did it all. <laughs> you can tell this guy's been having a bad day because his clan name is literally... Oh my gosh! Drill first play. Oh, I'm not going to cut any of these games either because, like, dude, I want you guys to see that I literally face Drill so freaking often. Uh, but his clan name is Nerf Everything. <laughs> I mean, I can't even blame him at this point. There is a lot of cards that do need a nerf in this meta. Um... I'm not even going to start naming him off. Oh, Knight, get a shot. Beautiful Knight. We love to see that. A little oops comes out from him. <laughs> and somebody's just laughing, spectating me, bro. Like, <laughs> they're trying to piss him off. Okay, he's going to go for the Mighty in the back. We'll just go ahead and cycle a Harry Potter into that. Um, and, <laughs> I mean, try and catch him off guard. He's going to go for the Wow people's reaction you know people's reaction never gets old when they do see the wizard it makes me happy um because people just you know it's genuinely not used on ladder guys i promise you like no one uses it <laughs> i mean no one and when i say no one i mean zero percent of people on the top 200 have a wizard in the deck kind of like the ice Wiz, um which is kind of weird because ice Wiz is so much better than the wizard overall in my opinion but um i mean it depends on it's all situational right the game is all situational did he just lose like what is he even doing um okay he's gonna mighty minor but i have knight so i mean that's fine i can just ice spirit to freeze his well, hopefully that bomber... No, it is splashing. I'm so tired of bomber, guys. I'm going to actually have like a 10,000 word... I'm going to type up a 10k word essay on why I hate the evil bomber in a second. Because like, 
I think I've played it probably 80% of the game so far or something in this video. I don't really know, but I'm probably just going to cycle a wizard in the back. If he's smart, he is going to switch lanes into me, um, like going into the same lane as me because he can just poison my tower over and over, and I will lose the game eventually, but I'm not going to do it. Okay, yeah, he is... I mean, I guess he's technically has a, you know, a brain cell in his body, so um, he's going to switch lanes, which is fine. I guess I'll just expo with this wizard. Should I even expo? No, nah, I'm not going to do it. Um... Um, I mean, Wizard gets one shot on tower if you let it go, but, like, I mean, it's not enough. He's gonna go for the Skellies to protect it, too. I'm not really too sure about that play. Evo, oh, dang it, that's a bad play. That's not gonna hit my expo, I don't think. Uh, but that definitely will, maybe. Okay, Bomber, okay. Hello? Bomber, you were literally not even... <laughs> oh, I hate the Bomber, guys. It's fine, don't rage, don't rage, don't rage. Okay, gonna go for the Wizard in the back to defend this, and then that's gonna be a poison from him, I'm guessing. Poison spell, maybe? No, okay, he's gonna go for the bomb or the bridge then or something what is he even doing he's just like sitting here um okay there's the uh the evo tesla that we knew was coming so i'm just gonna go for the ice spirit of the lane to try and catch him off guard wait we're he's dead he just spent so much elixir wait he has real delivery what why does he have delivery in this deck okay it's fine um still a lot of damage we'll take that and now his tower is down to 1800 so i'm gonna go wizard on defense once again i took so much damage from this bomber um because my tower was out of daggers but it doesn't really matter that much um I'm going to Evo Knight to protect my wizard. He is going to delivery, though, so I guess it's kind of a waste. I'm going to just log to cycle, get another wizard down right now, and try and start spamming the bridge here a little bit, um, controlling with the wizard. I'm going to go for the Evo Skellies in the back. He's going to... Whoa, that Tesla is really bad. Okay, tip, tip. If you are going to play against Expo, guys, um, and you're going to pre-plant a Tesla, you always need to put it in a range where it will hit the Expo if they do play it. So, like, that Tesla right there that he just played lost in the game because he's pretty much putting it there, and I can just Expo, and it's a waste of four elixir, if that makes sense. So, yeah, never put your Teslas there against Expo. All right, I'm actually praying for something other than a Goblin Drill because, bro, I'm so tired of facing this card, but I'm just going to go for the Skelly split in the back. I think Evo Skellies are, I don't know, they're, they're such an interesting card to me um, because, like, a lot of the time they get actually negative value in a matchup, and right now, like, the last couple games, they've gotten me some pretty decent value, so I don't really know how to feel about them right now. I'm kind of conflicted. It's like that, um... <laughs> okay, I saw someone comment. Oh, this comment was so funny. Um, somebody commented, they were like... It was, um, they were like, Evo Bomber and Hunter are like that one toxic couple that can't get away from each other, and that had me dying for like a couple minutes. Um, so like I said, bro, your comments, like, they're actually funny. I love reading them, um, especially things like that, because it's just like, like, makes me laugh, and it's very, very relatable, right? So I'm just gonna go, wait, he has to play a knight on that. Hold up, he spent a lot of elixir there. Um, looks like he's probably playing graveyard, right? So I'm just gonna log the tombstone. I gotta think about this because I don't really know if I played a graveyard deck when I'm playing Firebow for a long time at least. So I'll just get the wizard in the back. If he does poison this, I'm gonna try and do something other lane, I think. Um, but we'll have to see what he decides. He's gonna baby drag into a wizard. Very bad play by him. Um, this guy is making a couple mistakes early, so I'm just gonna go for the knight at the bridge. Also, when's the last time you guys faced E-Giant? Like, what in the world? What happened to this card? I haven't seen it in about 10 years. Um, I'm just gonna NATO everything in, then that's gonna be a dead little parade hold up now i'm gonna skellies and then he has to respond to those skellies wait is he dead i think he's dead because he's gonna have to respond then i can go expo other lane oh he's cooked oh and he messed up no he's dead he's actually dead wait okay skellies are not um on tower but like he's dead he has no elixir knight is on zero he's gonna call the good game i'm gonna call the good game too and you know what another rage crit and this is what i mean about the evo skellies like it caused him to spend so much elixir to where he had absolutely nothing for this expo um that's just gonna be tower down yeah he's gonna poison my king tower doesn't even get a graveyard off so i feel kind of yeah a little bit bad for him because i don't know I shouldn't feel bad for, for anyone, but like a graveyard player especially, no, I don't need to feel bad for him. I'm just going to go Expo to finish off the game, and we're going to get a, our second three crown of this video um, <laughs> with Expo. I mean, okay, wait, what? Okay, I guess, what, what is he doing? Is he trolling? I think he's trolling. Yeah, he's trolling. Okay, I thought he was like seriously trying to go in for a second, and you guys know how I feel about those kind of people. If he did that, would have made him sit here and rocketed at the corner of his map the rest of the game, because I cannot stand people that do that. Um, so yeah, we're going to get another three crown here. <laughs> I mean, not, nothing he really even did that wrong. I guess he kind of just let the Evo Skellies survive too long, and then that just happens. You waste so much elixir. I don't know why, but every single time I record a video, like, as soon as I'm uh, done with it, I just get so hungry and, like, have to eat food because I'm starving after talking for so long. But, like, right now, I'm not even close to done with the video, and I've literally, like, I am starving. I might have to take a break and go down something um, real quick because I'm actually, like, on life support of how hungry I am right now. But, okay, he's going to Firecracker. Wait, what is he playing? Um, Log and then Skellies. I guess he's playing probably Hog Rider, which is kind of, I mean... Like, I, I made a, uh, you know, a video a couple, like, probably a week ago or two now, 
when I said all these Hog Rider Earthquake players, like, we need you to come out this meta because, um... There's way too many Elixir Collector players right now, and, you know, hopefully some people are starting to listen, because I still haven't seen any Hog EQ. I know it's the Hog itself is really bad against the Dagger Duchess. Um, one, I mean, they have to nerf the card eventually, guys, or the, the Tower Troop eventually, guys, but we'll have to see. Um, I'm just going to go for the Log probably on this. Wait, Wizard? No, it is going to get absolutely melted right there, um, which kind of sucks, so I'm going to Log, and then I have to go ahead and Tornado everything. Okay, I did not expect that Firecracker to go towards the center. Um, the one thing about this matchup is, like, the NATO is not going to ever activate the King Tower against the Hog, and it's also hard to activate against the Firecracker because, like, <laughs> your tower kills it too quickly, so it's kind of a little bit difficult to get a King Tower activation, which I thought I would never say when facing Hog Earthquake, but just going to get the Knight down in the back. Someone's hitting the Baby Carrot emote on the side. <laughs> Shout out to that guy, but, um... Let's see, I guess I can just expo. Oh, no, he's probably going to Firecracker. Yeah, I had a feeling, so I'll just Evo, not Evo Wizard. <laughs> Imagine Evo Wizard. Whenever they drop the Evo Wizard, guys, I'm going to be the best player in this game, I swear. <laughs> but I'm just going to go Evo Skellies on this left side. He has to go for, okay, Evolution Knight and Log. So not bad, but dang, he should really be out of Elixir right now, which kind of sucks. Not Earthquake on zero is going to kind of bail him out. Um, and I also have to spend, like, my entire bar to defend this evil knight because it's just invincible. So that's kind of another downside to not having King Tower activated. I do have to overcommit on a lot of plays um, just because the Dagger Duchess runs out of daggers. But that's fine. I'm just going to go... This is actually kind of interesting because um, without a secondary building, I think this is a lot harder than I would expect. But I'm just going to go... He's going to knight. All right, we'll just get the wizard down in the back. Try and play it slow. If he does hog, I can just go for the Ice Spirit and then Skelly's right on top of it to DPS it down as well as the tower. Yeah, it's like... This is what I mean with the hog. It's so easy to defend when you have a full health, uh, like a full, whatever it's called, not even health, full, full, um, what do you call it? it? Fully charged. Yeah, that's the word. Sorry. My brain's just not working. Like I said, when I get hungry, guys, you know, I'm like your girlfriend, girlfriend when you get, when she gets hungry, right? You've got to feed her because then she's just going to be hangry the whole time. But I'm just going to cycle <laughs> the knight at the bridge and then go for the skellies in the middle here. And, okay, we'll natal log this firecracker in a second. Hopefully this hog rider does die. My knight should get one more swing. Yeah, not bad. Holy cow, that was way too close to getting a hit, but uh, we're chilling. I'm just going to go for the wizard in the back once again. Keep going evo skellies the bridge to be annoying because he just wasted his log. He doesn't actually have anything for that. Wait, I think I just won the game because that was the smartest evo skellies I've ever done in my life. Earthquake? Wait, no! Oh my Wait, skellies are broken. Are you kidding me? He's going to log, but I can natal back this evil knight and get a connection on this right side, and then he doesn't have much elixir. Wow. Did you guys see those skellies? They literally spawned through the earthquake. How does that even happen? He has to, he has to go for another earthquake, and the game's like technically not over, but like, wow. What a really bad <laughs> sequence of events for this guy. I feel a little bit bad about that, but it's fine. I'm just going to go for these skellies to defend the hog, and okay, that was really bad defense by me. I don't know what I did right there, but that was just miserable. Um, should be fine, though, because I can just expo. Yeah, he lost because he just played his knight as well. I can just get the knight down myself, and then he's going to go goblins um, in a second. Actually, he's all, he's all the way back to another knight, which is the power of cycle decks right here. I'm going to get the Harry Potter down at the river. He's, he is forced to Earthquake, which is good for me, and then I can just Ice Spirit. He has to defend that knight still um, with the log. Is that still going to get there? Yeah, he has to waste an Ice Spirit as well, and then he's going to also have to waste goblins on top of the, this wizard. Wait, wizard, don't do it to him. Oh, I thought it was about to get a hit. Um, that would have been disgusting, but I'm just going to keep the pressure on with the expo. I still can't believe those evil skellies that was actually ridiculous but okay i'm just gonna nato everything back get back to another log to take out the evil firecracker and that's gonna be a dead um evil firecracker and we shouldn't really have any problems defending the rest of this game i'm just gonna go evil skellies the bridge to block everything there's a, another firecracker at the bridge um but i can just ice spirit hopefully it jumps on top now it is not gonna make it unfortunately but um I can just go for a second wizard here to take out all these firecrackers in the middle that he spams. He's going to play another firecracker, so we're going to pre-nato it. Nice. Okay, not bad, not bad. Um, it's going to be taken out. So I can just go for the evil knight, and yeah, absolutely nothing he can, he can do in this situation when I'm up so much, uh, not elixir, uh, so much damage. Um, I mean, he can evil firecracker, but that's still going to be a dead... Like, it's not going to do anything, really. So, I'm just going to go for the... I guess, do I, I don't even need to rocket. I'm just going to knight Evo Skellies in the middle. And then I'll take the rocket just to be 100% sure I don't throw the game in the last 8 seconds. Because, you know, I have done that before, definitely. So, just NATO to King Tower. We're going to get the King Tower activated with 2 seconds left in, in overtime, guys. Aren't you proud of me? I finally activated the King Tower. <laughs> nah. But, I, like I said, it is actually pretty hard to activate King Tower. Really good. I mean, those Evo Skellies pretty much won me this entire game just by cheesing him and forcing out so much elixir. That was crazy. I'm not even going to lie to you guys, I just took like a 10 minute break, and I just had the best queso and chips I've ever had in my life, like, that actually hit so hard, um, it felt like I, I don't even know, I just, it was magical, like, a truly a life-changing experience that queso was, but, let's see, we're up against Crazy Hulk, I think he usually plays RG, um, 
but I actually don't know. It might be, it might be drill. Hopefully it's not drill. Okay, no, he's got zap, so probably not goblin drill, but I guess there's no telling, so I'm just gonna pull that little prince in, try and take that off the map quickly. He's got the battle ram. Okay, low-key have not seen much battle ram at all in this map. <laughs> I don't know why, but I guess maybe the dagger duchess is just so good against it. It literally, like, doesn't even get to the tower, um, which is crazy to me, but I don't, I don't know. I think Dagger Duchess will get reworked probably in this next season, but, um, you know, a lot of people have to buy it still first for them to make their profits, and then they're going to rework it, but unfortunately, that is how the game is a little bit uh, right now. Anyways, I'm just going to NATO activate with this ghost. You know, I get roasted so many times for not knowing this placement, and hopefully I can do it right nice. Nice, we are going to get it. <laughs> um, I usually mess up that, that placement and always take a ghost hit, but finally, we got it, got it kind of correct right there. I'm just going to cycle the knight in the back once again. He's going to zap. All right. Also, my push, I mean, I'm... I'm, I'm going up decently but i'm just trying to get top 10 like i'll be so happy if i can hit top 10 <laughs> but um so far we're like 40th or something right now i don't know exactly what i am okay he's gonna go bandit i had a pretty good feeling he was gonna do that um so that's why i had the skellies kind of hovered so i'm just gonna go for the expo i think with this actually no nah, i'm not i'm gonna chill um the reason i'm not gonna go expo here is because i know he's gonna ghost for that wizard i'm gonna go for the expo other lane now um this is kind of aggressive but i think it could work depending on wait he's got pekka oh i did not even think about that i thought he was just playing like bridge band with no pekka um this would have worked loki if i didn't <laughs> if he didn't have pekka but now it's just gonna be a dead wait no please no i couldn't get the skellies down in time that would have been a massive lock on um and now we are kind of in trouble i'm gonna have to nato this battle run back but luckily it is um double elixir so i don't have to okay yeah we're fine knight's gonna get down and we're not gonna be dead um which is kind of surprising because i overcommitted a lot on that expo um if i could have got those skellies down in time i would have got a pretty nice lock on and now i now i feel kind of like an idiot because i didn't even get any damage but it's fine i'll just get the harry potter down in the back my dagger duchess is going to uh, recharge all the way holy cow all right um I'm just gonna NATO everything. Okay, this is yeah, this is one. Okay, okay, okay. Evil Battle Ram, I need you to relax. He's gonna zap. Probably. Why would he not zap? I don't know. Um, but I'm just gonna go for the NATO to pull everything back. And then do I have enough elixir? Please get down. No, bandits! Dang it. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose this game. Nah, I can't lose this. I gotta lock in. Um, if I just play really good, then I can still win. But dang, that was just definitely a really bad start to this game. I'm gonna go expo the lane immediately because I know he's gonna have to play um, something on top. Oh, of course, the little princes and not Pekka's this time. Like, what? Okay, it's fine. Um, I'm just gonna log everything off, and that should be a connection on tower, maybe? Nope, definitely not because he's got the bandits. Man, I can't get an expo lock to save my life, apparently, in this game. I'm not really sure why it's so hard. Uh, pause. I'm just gonna go for the wizard in the back, I think, again here, and then that should be decent um depending on what he's got i'm just gonna go should i export this i don't know guys like i don't know what i'm doing all right <laughs> i'm just gonna go skellies to surround this ghost but yeah i've been hearing rumors of a wizard evolution i don't know if it's true or not but like wizard evolution oh man i don't think you guys want to see what what i would do with the wizard evolution like it actually be criminal but i'm just gonna go for the knight since he doesn't have his um, pekka he's gonna have to ghost on top and then i can just kind of kill everything here um nato everything away to make sure wait please just lock on tower dude i'm gonna be so happy yes okay he's gonna zap though so kind of a i mean kind of a, <laughs> a weak lock to be honest um but i'm just gonna pull everything away we still can't get a connection to, i can't buy a connection guys for more than like two seconds i'm gonna try and expo other lane on zero because he has to respond it never mind um how do i win this game right now i'm down way too much damage maybe i, I don't think rocket cycle is gonna save me but um, we'll have to get some kind of expo lock i think so i'm gonna go expo other lane he might pekka we've got a little dual lane pressure he's gonna pekka the expo okay okay so let's think about this i'm gonna go skellies he's going to go for a spell obviously and then i can get the knight down there's the zap not bad i think we're all right here i'm just gonna log everything back nato this little prince as well no he does pop the ability right away dang it how do i win this i think i lost i'm gonna cycle the wizard in the back 40 seconds left i need like a criminal level choke from this guy if i'm gonna have any chance of winning this um i'm gonna expo and then i'll scale these immediately on the battle ram okay let's think he's gonna bandit so we'll get the ice beard down in time log as well okay nice the the little prince is gonna die wait hold up guys hold up hold up hold up i can maybe go expo their lane um 20 seconds left expo's on tower i'm gonna expo on this on this right side he has to defend both sides hold on this is winnable i'm um, gonna go for the double rocket on the left side now i think i'm just gonna have to full commit to the spell cycle and he does have the evo zap arrows but that's not gonna be enough if i can cycle back to another rocket in time as well as like tornado and stuff yeah we're gonna win this game holy cow this was way too close um, i can't believe i actually pulled this one off that's sm that slight expo lock um actually won me the entire game and yeah we're gonna pull this one off oh my gosh he almost won the game with arrows i think that would have been an enough though um how much does arrows do i don't know but i had a log coming down as well so i think i would have survived just barely it would have been very close anyways we pulled off a nasty comeback right there i really did not expect to win that game but we'll take it for sure 
maybe that win right there that comeback victory is going to spark my push here and i can actually like get up to a higher rank like i would like but i'm just going to get the knight down in the back another evo bomber no you know i can't even remember the last time i saw someone play a bomber without the evolution in the deck i don't think it's ever happened in the history of clash royale but i'm just going to nato this back so the xe doesn't absolutely ruin my life <laughs> and i think we're chilling here yeah but like once i like i said guys thank you so much for the 40k like i can't even say it enough i could say it probably 40 times in this video and still it wouldn't be enough because that's just a crazy amount to me but i'm gonna go for the the knight behind what is happening right now he just spent like his entire elixir bar in life savings at the bridge and we're only 45 seconds into the game so um, i'm probably gonna expo other lane depending on what he does for this wizard i'm definitely gonna expo other lane because i think he's hurting for elixir i'm gonna go skellies to make sure this knight does not tank and that's gonna be an expo connection on tower this is all you gotta do guys you just gotta be patient wait for them to make bad mistakes especially this guy like in single um i don't know what he's doing okay now he's gonna go for a late cannon and evo bomber okay he's gonna start bming too because he's not too happy about it i don't know why he waited so long to go for that cannon but um somebody <laughs> i didn't even know that cheerleading emo on the side is fire i literally like haven't even thought about that emotes or like ever even seen it before so i don't know where it came from but i think it's pretty funny i'm just gonna go for the ice spirit on the side it's perfect to like use when you're watching people in matches and stuff but yeah Let's see, I'm going to cycle the... Ooh, I guess I'll go wizard same lane since I don't believe he has a big spell. Um, I could be completely wrong about that, but... I mean, he hasn't played one yet, I guess, is, is kind of my... my um like why what i'm basing it off of so i'm just gonna go knight right here and then i guess i can skellies does this fully counter a hog i think it does and that is the problem with hog right there never mind it does get a hit so i'd look stupid saying that but still it pretty much fully counters a hog rider um i'm gonna go ice spirit another person running delivery i don't know why delivery is popular but look at the, i'm gonna pre-log on the on the left side um okay we're not gonna hit the bomber but it's still a massive ma amount of damage on the left side um oh wow evil knight is just so good against dagger duchess guys it's actually so good i don't even think evil knight's that broken i think it's just because the dagger duchess is so bad against it that it's really good um kind of one of those situational cards because of the meta um but i wouldn't be surprised if they nerfed it again and then i'd be pretty sad though not gonna lie <laughs> why is he just bming i guess i'll throw some bm back because uh, um you know he just he just wants to throw the bm out so i'm gonna pre-rocket whatever he does at the bridge yeah nice um it's gonna be a ton of value then evo skellies will wipe absolutely everything he's snoring <laughs> i mean i'd probably just give up if i were you to be honest because like you kind of got rolled this entire game um now he's gonna have to defend those evo skellies with the delivery i can just log nato this bomber and then i can ice spirit to freeze this hog rider and that's gonna be a dead hog rider he has to go for another knight yeah this is just every Everything's going wrong for him. Honestly, I don't even have to do anything. Yeah, he's gonna waste a cannon so I can just rocket his tower right about now. And then we're gonna cycle on back to one more rocket. I've never felt less threatened, like in a game because like I don't think there's anything he could do. Oh, he has lightning that he hasn't even played the entire match. Like, what? <laughs> Why does he not play his lightning at all? Um But we're just gonna give him the nice little <laughs> the nice little perfect finisher to the game with a rocket on the corner of his tower and it's gonna be another win we're actually getting a win streak going so maybe i can get pushing up here um so far so good we've won like four or five in a row let's get it all right adam i'm gonna have to unfortunately absolutely destroy you because i'm not losing this win streak that i'm on currently and i gotta get this top 10 if i'm gonna be happy with myself <laughs> so i'll just get a knight down in the back oh would you guys believe that we're facing bomber oh we're facing goblin drill guys can you believe it i've never seen a goblin drill deck before i'm gonna go for the ice spirit in the back and i guess i'll just wizard too he's just gonna probably poison that which kind of sucks um the worst part about this matchup is that like the poison spell literally takes out everything in my deck he's gonna go whoa 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 hold up hold up hold up hold up i think that's way too aggressive i mean he just spent um eight elixir at the bridge like that really i mean i guess but um okay buddy you know what i'm gonna expo other lane i think this is the right play in this situation um because he doesn't have mighty and cycle there's the tesla okay never mind i guess it's not the right play um ice spirit no you're so bad okay it's fine it's fine it's fine not a good start i always get down to drill early on it's always like minus 1500 damage um this is kind of the problem with not having a building like a tesla to play at the bridge with my expos is that they die to opponents buildings really like a lot easier um which kind of sucks but it is what it is i'm just gonna cycle a wizard in the back and try and just get this like start slow rolling this game hopefully we can do something but drill is uh <laughs> is pissing me off to say the least so i'm just gonna go evo skellies here go for another offensive bow somehow a goblin still hit my tower we love to see that um he does go for the bomber and then i guess i can nato depending on where he plays yeah i'm gonna nato this mighty miner just to get myself a lock on and feel better i guess um it's gonna be a decent amount of damage but he does have the log and the poison so you know it could have been worse um i'll take that decently big lock and then i'll just go ice spirit up high it kind of brought me back into this game actually so i gotta be pretty happy about that uh, my tower is out of daggers though unfortunately which kind of sucks but we are in double elixir so i think i'm gonna be okay so here's the play right i'm gonna have to bait out as poisons with the wizard and then like full spam the bridge um 
with my expo but like i don't really have the best support ever for an expo so it's not really going to work that well but okay he's gonna does he have evil bomber or regular bomber i actually can't remember i'm gonna go expo on the right and then there's the mighty miner he's gonna predict it with the tesla nice we're gonna freeze the tesla this time then i can log nato his bomber yep there's the evolution bomber um just kill it please nice okay he does have skellies though and just like that he's literally defending so easily bro these cycle cards are the worst thing in the game um it's fine though we're still not down that much actually surprisingly i'm gonna go for another expo and then just keep the pressure on with another ice okay um i guess we're gonna let that evo tesla kind of do its thing um and there's the drill <laughs> all right so knight hopefully can catch that drill nope we can't catch the can't catch it either which kind of sucks so now i'm gonna have to um overcommit with the skellies right there but i can just get a wizard down in the back try and ban out a poison is the goal here um i mean i kind of have to just keep going in for expo i don't really have much of a play right here um because of my side wait 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 maybe nice we're gonna get a connection how is he falling for that like come on bro this is like top 30 ladder and he's falling for that right now um but just gonna go evo skellies on top of the mighty he's gonna pop the ability most likely yeah okay okay so there's the drill i'll go wizard to activate king tower and then i'm gonna log this drill in a second no i did take the one hit dang it okay it's fine it's fine um we're still technically in the lead this is actually kind of good but i have to be very careful right now so i'm gonna cycle the I guess we'll go Expo the bridge and then just Skellies to predict his Tesla. I'm gonna go Knight. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna have to let the Expo die, unfortunately. We don't have enough Elixir to support it. Um, but at least he didn't, whatever you call it, he didn't, um, like, get damage from that drill. So I'm gonna cycle the Wizard in the back. I don't know what to do, guys. I'm nervous. I don't want to lose the drill for the 5 million time. Okay, so Ice Spirit in the back um i gotta go expo i cannot let him spam the bridge or i will just lose the game he is gonna poison on defense hold up this might be something here um depending on oh he wastes his evil bomber all right this this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna rocket his tower um it's gonna give us a decent lead going into triple here he's going to go for the drill poison obviously but i'll get the knight down and then skellies to block that hold up this is winnable guys um ice spirit to freeze log to just kind of I, I, did i even need that i don't know um but i'm gonna go wizard up high and then i think i'm gonna try and do a little dual lane pressure here with the knights i'm gonna go expo on this right side then evo skellies the bridge and also ice spirit to just freeze this drill so my tower takes it out enough and i don't take any damage nice okay he's gonna have to evil bomber i can nato everything together 30 seconds left can i win this i think i maybe can if i just predict his test tesla um it's an evo tesla though that kind of sucks wait i'm just gonna go for two rockets and then try and defend um i think we're gonna win the game wait <laughs> i usually never beat drill but somehow we're actually playing so good right now i'm gonna go skellies on top of this you know i've got my groove now with uh with the fireball so i just gotta cycle one more rocket we know he's gonna evil bomber the bridge it's not rocket science here so i'm gonna get the wizard prediction down for that get the ice spear down we did predict the evil bomber let's go we're just gonna log and skellies to finish off that drill and then nato to make sure we take this tower let's go guys we actually beat the hardest the hardest counter in the entire game um to this deck <laughs> which is crazy i mean you, you really should never lose that it has to be some kind of criminal offense somewhere but like we managed to pull it off magically there okay i don't want to jinx myself or anything but um i am like two games away from top 10 i think if i win the next two then i'll be in the top 10 and i can finally finally be happy with my fireball um gameplay so i'm just gonna keep cycling he's got ice spirit as well please not trill dude please anything else i would no no please bro i'm so sorry i don't want to face drill like what do i need to do okay um <laughs> i'm so sad right now i'm just gonna cycle the wizard in the back and see what he does um okay he's got tesla yeah i'm pretty sure it's drill i mean it could be something else but like most likely it is i guess um so i'll just go expo here tesla is gonna pop up unfortunately and then he's got the mighty miner get the nato down quick no, I'm so bad. Dang it. Okay, I should have nadoed quicker, but my reaction speed is negative one. Wizard at the bridge, though. Look at this card, guys. Absolutely beautiful card right here. Um, that's going to be a dead bomber as well. He's going to Tesla. Dang it, I don't have enough elixir to get a knight down, or we could have got a small walk. Um, but at least he does kind of have to overcommit. And once again, we're going to be in this, this just infinite cycle of defending these... Uh, these drills and trying to get opposite lane pressure i guess is the move i'm actually gonna go expo on zero i know it's aggressive but he doesn't have evolution bomber in cycle um he's gonna wait 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 he lost what is he doing he does not have elixir but he's gonna bomber no i should have predicted it i don't know i was kind of scared to go for the prediction nato dude bomber needs a nerf guys i don't care um i should have pre-nadoed i could have got some good damage but like the thing about the prediction nato is like if you don't time it perfectly the bomber will still hit your expo even if you like predict it if that makes sense so i don't know if it was worth it but i'm just gonna cycle the knight in the back hopefully there's other opportunities for me to get some kind of damage in this game um there's the mighty in the back oh my gosh this deck is so frustrating to face okay let's just go for the wizard up high i believe in myself you know i believe in the wizard gameplay here so i'm just gonna go for the um ice spirit i guess the freeze no dang it okay okay it's fine it's fine he's low on um not elixir dagger 
but it I guess it doesn't really matter. I can't punish him for it. I'm just going to cycle the Evo Skelly split in the back, go for the Expo on this right side here, then prediction his Tesla. Um, there's the Evo Tesla. Okay, we're going to log the drill, and everything's dead, because the bomber, oh my gosh, that's the worst card in the game. I hate it so much. Um, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. You know, we're not down that much. He does have to respond to that Evo Knight. Maybe not. Actually, his tower is cooking over there. Wow. Okay, I'm going to go for the Wizard in the back. I'm expecting him to go Goblin Drill once again here. Um... But we'll have to see. Just going to get the Larrys down and then cycle a Knight in the back. Just try and play slow. He's going to poison. Hold up, hold up, guys. This might have potential here. So I'm going to go Expo the Bridge and then Wizard as soon as I can for the Tesla. I kind of, I mean, I had no other choice but the Wizard, which kind of sucks for um, sniping a Tesla, but it's my best option. Pre-NATO? No, I thought he was going to bomb her. Okay. Um, oh, well, there goes my Expo. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So sad. It's so sad. Please don't hit my Tower Bomber. Please don't hit my... Oh, I'm gonna actually rage. It's fine. It's fine. Just gonna cycle a knight in the back. Dang it, man. Okay, Evo Bomber. I just, you know, I love facing you. You're my favorite card to face. I'm gonna go for the wizard in the middle, then snipe this Tesla. I guess. I don't know. This is kind of a kind of a bad situation to be in. But whoa, whoa, whoa. He has bomber, but he doesn't have anything else. Um, hold up. He has to pop the ability, right? Or he's kind of cooked. He's back to another Tesla now. There's the ability. All right, not bad. I can just go ahead and ice spear to freeze, and then it's gonna jump. Okay, nice. We can go skellies behinds. Um. I'm going to go Wizard in the middle to snipe this Bomber, which is good. And then I think I can Expo again with this. Um, I know it's aggressive, but I got... Oh, wait, he's low on Elixir, guys. This is like my one chance to do something. Uh, wait, can I NATO that? No, I don't know. Uh, uh, no, please, Tesla, don't do it to me. Okay, I'm going to try and protect my Expo here. I, I don't know. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. I'm just going to freeze with the Ice Spirit and NATO everything together. Please just get a lock on tower. Like, oh, I hate this game. Okay, um... Dang it, bro. <laughs> I'm so sad. Every time the bomber gets placed, like, I can't do anything. I'm just going to expo again, though. And then... Skelly's to block the Tesla. Um, we'll get the knight down. Going to go wizard up high in the middle. And then log. Maybe? Maybe we can do something? Please? Please, wizard. I believe in you. You're the best. I'm going to expo other lane now because he has to spend more elixir. Wait, I can do something, guys. I think I can do something. Going to go evil knight to predict. Nice. Okay, there's the Tesla. I can... I have my nato. Please! 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 No, I'm so bad. Wait, I lost the game. No, I thought that was going to pull. Uh, Evo Skellies, do something, please. I will literally be so happy. He's going to Tesla, but it's fine. 28 seconds left. Can I win this game? I think it's looking kind of bleak right now, guys. Um, wait. I locked on tower. I locked on tower. I locked on tower. I won the game. Wait, I actually just won the game, guys. I have no... <laughs> Losing... There... Wait, I'm not going to speak too soon um let's go knight up high then log the drill losing that it has to be a criminal offense how did you lose from that position bro you literally <laughs> i just beat the hardest counter again i mean if i don't get top 10 in this next game if this isn't a sign that this game wants me to get top 10 with fire bro then i don't know what is because that matchup is literally impossible you guys see how hard it is to break through um but i still managed to get a lock there at the end i really don't even know how but we'll take it let's go Okay, guys, if I win this game, I am top 10. This guy is pretty far below me as well. Um, I have to do this. I have to do this, right? I've been grinding this. You guys don't even want to know how long I've been playing for. Um, he's got, wait, is that, he's got level 14 towers? What in the world? This guy's like top 20 with level 14 towers, like top 30 or 40. I don't really know how how, how, how high up he is. Oh, it's Hypno. He plays log baits um dex oh my gosh okay so we're gonna get princess the what, what am i he's got three spirits what am i playing against right now guys okay i'm officially losing my mind <laughs> i've been playing this game for far too long i'm gonna go for the wizard in the back it needs to give me that notification that like that thing that it says where it's like been playing for or on a lost streak consider taking a break you know whenever i see that i get so pissed off especially if i've lost a couple games in a row and it pops up i'm like dude i'm actually gonna snap but i'm just gonna expo here Oh my gosh, okay, he's gonna go nine elixir <laughs> for that expo, I mean, alright, I mean, if you want the expo dead, then, okay, dude, like, oh, I'm actually gonna rage, guys, you guys know this is my worst nightmare, he's just cycling princesses, he hasn't even played a goblin barrel yet, um, does he even have goblin barrel, like, you would think he's playing log bait, but I don't know what in the world he's got, um, <laughs> I mean, uh, he's got three spirits, log, tesla, valkyrie, princess, wait, that's seven cards, Am I tripping or does he not have a barrel in this deck? <laughs> Wait, what am I playing against right now? I'm just going to go for the expo, the bridge. Um, NATO everything to get a connection. Never mind. Oh, sad day. Oh, uh, there's just infinite spirits on the map. I don't even know what to say, bro. Like, they're just everywhere. Okay. Um, 
If he princesses, I'll just log. You know, I'm expecting him to princess the bridge at some point here. I'm just going to go fire. Like, what is happening, bro? I've never seen somebody with so many, like, spirits. Like, what is happening? Got to go for the wizard in the back. And depending on what he does, I'll just go for the knight at the bridge for this princess that he's about to drop in three, two, one. No, he's going to poison instead. Okay, I'll go for the knight to the side. Um, kind of waste his poison. I don't know about that play from him. I'm just going to go expo. Actually, I'm going to rocket the tower um, because he has poison, not rocket. And he doesn't have barrel, so I can just log his princess. Wait, this is so free. This is really easy. If he, like... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm playing, guys, really. So I'm going to go wizard in the middle. And then, wow, that is the worst Valk I've ever seen. Oh, my gosh. That is the biggest overcommit I've ever seen. So I'm just going to go expo. He's got Evo Tesla, I believe. I could be wrong. Um, or is it just regular Tesla? I can't remember. He's got the Evo... No, he has regular Tesla because he has Evo Skellies, not Evo um, Tesla. So that's good for me. I'll just go for the Evo Skellies myself. Maybe they can do something. I'm actually going to expo the lane on zero. This is kind of good. He doesn't have Valkyrie in cycle. He's going to have to spend a lot of Elixir to get back to the Valk. Um, and by a lot of Elixir, I mean all four of his one Elixir cards. Wow, that is just... Mm. He's going to Princess. Don't do it, dude. Just don't do it, please. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, okay. I have to beat this guy. I'm actually going to Rage. Okay, going to log for this and then Rocket the Tower. And it's going to be a good, good damage lead for me. It's going to have to just be Rockets because I can't connect with an Expo. You guys see how many cycle cards he has? It's like mentally impossible. <laughs> Physically and mentally impossible. He's saying good game, but it's really not over at all. Um, oh, my gosh. I'm going to pre-log for the Princess? No. No, please don't do it. Please, bro. Please. He's going to Princess. He has to. Why would he not? What is he doing? Okay, I'm gonna go skellies over here, and then oh my gosh, guys! Oh, if you want to see me get angry, then this is definitely the deck to run against me. But let's see, he's gonna princess again, most likely. Um, so I'm just gonna log all these skellies. No, what is happening? He's just cycling poisons now on my tower. Um, I mean, I'm all right, I guess. He's gonna princess at some point here. Got to go expo and then evo skellies to tank for all this garbage. Okay, please chill out, bro. Um, need to go knight. I'm actually throwing this game. No, guys, I can't throw this. I'd be so sad. Please lock on tower, dude. What do I have to do for a lock on tower? Okay, please, expo. Yes, finally. I'm gonna go wizard for the Tesla. Um, I'm gonna NATO everything back. Yes, wizard! Wizard, you're the goat. Oh, let's go, guys. We're actually gonna win this game. I'm gonna... Yes, yes, wizard's the best card in the game. Holy cow, we're gonna get top 10. This was the longest video I've ever recorded in my life. <laughs> We're finally going to do it. I thought I was going to lose this game and choke and actually just have be like depressed, but we got the win. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my rank. But yeah, anyways, thanks again for 40k. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was so like such a grind to make. But yeah, anyways, leave a like if you did and uh, peace.